Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Kat Woods. I'm going to share today what is inside of my tote bag. Um, this is something that I just purchased, so I figured maybe you all can get lucky too. Check out your local Walmart and see what they have. I kept on the little tag here so I won't lose it and I can share it with you guys. It is a 10 piece getaway. There is the number. You know, if my phone. I got you on the tripod, so I'm trying to move. There it is. Okay, so this bad boy is amazing. For one, it's super cute because it is clear. I like it when they're clear because you can see everything inside of them. Like, it is, I don't know, it's, it's super cute. So, um, what I'm going to do is just pull it out, and this is basically... This tote bag is only taking place of my Happy Planner bag. So for those of you who know what my tote bag normally is, it's my Happy Planner bag. But um, I figured just give it a break, give it a nice little change up. We all like changing up every now and then, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm just going to share what I have in my tote bag. I'm going to pull out this bag comes with it, because like I said, it is a 10-piece bag. I don't have all 10 pieces. They include like a ribbon and this little bag here. Of when I take my, um, they have this bag. So when I take my like watercolors and stuff like that or acrylic paint, I'll use these little tubes to hold water. So that's, that's pretty cool. But besides that, I really don't need this bag. So I did not include it, but it does come with it. That's part of the 10 and these hair clip ribbons is part of it too but I don't need it so I'm not really gonna show it <laughs> so this cute super bag look at this how adorable is this bag the colors the pink it says cat all over it and it has a little bags that it comes with so it does not come with this bag this is my bag this, this came from Amanda my amazing um, admin on my Facebook group so um, yeah this one holds my just a few little washies that I like using and that like match each other so you can add your washies it does come with this bag and in this bag I have all my felt tip pins so I'll just take like out a handful of them my felt tip this is my pilot G2 my holy grail pin my Bic Her pins, the H-E-R, and then these are the Stadlers. Love, love the Stadlers. Where are they? There they are. Love them. So they are absolutely amazing. But only in some Bibles because of the felt tip. Um, my premium Bibles from um, Church Bible Publishers cannot handle felt tips at all. So... Those I really haven't been using too much. I have the smaller bag which comes in this set and it has all my highlighters in it. So I got my Sharpie highlighters. I got a couple of um, like generic brush pens, regular highlighters, and my favorite gel pen highlighters. So that's what this bag is. Yeah, there's a lot of bags. And then this bag is my favorite. Oh, yeah, and I also have my little, um, I got this from Michael's, like, way back in the day. This is the last one that they had there. Not too hot about the color, but, you know, I'm making, I'm dealing with it. It's still cute. It's a little traveler's notebook. And I just put um, random embellishments. It is a sticker book. So these stickers in the back, they came with the book. But I just added, like, embellishments that I want to, you know, take with me. Oh, yeah, and a bunch of loose stickers, and they all just popped out. I'll get them later. And then this is the last bag that it comes with. And then this one will hold my favorite, like, pins. They, these pins work in all of my Bibles, like, literally. Oh, so I just found these gel highlighters at um, my pack tans. They're, like, two, 288 they have these colors, which is a pink, blue, and a yellow. So if you want to see what's in what's in my pen bag, I'll have like a separate video and I'll share like all the packaging and stuff like that for all the pins that I'm sharing. 
But um, so my Pilot G Techs, we all know I rave about those. And then these are a new um, a newfound love of mine. They are the frictions. Oh my goodness, these bad boys are amazing. Even though they say a .07, they're still they're so stunning. They're even um, like less show through than my Pilot G2s or G Techs. So yeah, love love those. Um, I got microns. Yeah, so love it. So that's what, this is like the main bag that I grab when I go, like, you know, when I'm in the house, whatever. This is the one that I just have with me. Okay, so we have all these little bags, and they all fit. So we could fit like four bags in here. All three that the um, this bag set comes with, and then like a random little one. And it's like, it's just a regular, you know, um, pencil case. And then my little stickers. And it just goes on the side so that's what it looks like and it keeps everything safe secured okay so let me see how do I do this let's put this on the ground so I get more room when we go back into the case we have this cute little kitty case how adorable is this little kitty case oh my goodness it is a pencil case I don't know if you can look for it using this number or not. But it is so adorable. And that pink is just, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So what I have in my pencil case is a notebook. Because I need my notebooks for sketching, for any ideas, whatever comes to mind. will go in my notebook. And then my Bloom Bible. This is the Bible or mini Bible that I am using, trying to use up this year. So, and it's protected. I have all my beautiful garden in here. And when they're, it's in the pencil case, I don't have to fear, like, you know, my garden being messed up at all. So, it's safe and sound. And this pencil case also comes with keys, which I really don't need, but you can lock it. So, there's my pencil case. And then, I also have my traveler's notebook. It is in here. And all its beauty. Have my little fairies. Now I do have quite a few videos over my traveler's notebook, so I'm not going to get too much into it. Because you can check out my playlist. I do have all my videos in my playlist. Okay, and then last but not least, I have my um my bible and this is the bible that i will be taking with me from now on like whenever i leave the house this is the bible that's going i don't want a chance ruining any of my other bibles so let me see how can i do this all right so for those of you who don't know what this is i do have a review over it and i will make sure to leave it in the link below but this is a portfolio Bible. It is from Church Bible Publishers. I will have all the information in the card, which I keep in this Bible. So for those people that are like, oh yeah, I could use a Bible like this, I can give them and show them the information. So it is 100% safe. Everything that I place in this Bible, it is 100% safe. This is shared from one of my amazing sisters, or sent to me, not shared, sent to me. Okay, so let's hop in here. Okay, I did do something to the inside of my Bible. I have to. Every Everyone who knows me knows I'm a Bible journaler, knows I just love adding color to my Bibles and my covers of my Bible. So I had to do it to this one, and I love it. Okay, Oh, there's so much I want to tell you guys. So, I was being torn. This has the, the turquoise um, block, text block in it. And I was being torn in between what Bibles to use for what. Because I have two turquoise Bibles. So, I was saying, or thinking to myself, the ones that I have. So, the notes, um, the highlights, all the goodies that I have in this Bible that I use at home every day. Do I stop and put them into this Bible? Or 
if I'm out and about and I have something out of here, do I put it in that? So I was completely like, oh, four, four or five days maybe? What about four days? I was like bouncing back and forth. What do I do? How do I handle having two of the same Bible? One on the go, one on the stay. How am I going to do this? So this is strictly going to be a reader's Bible. I'll highlight the scriptures that the Lord lays upon my heart to share with somebody. So if someone comes up to me and says, you know, I really could use a scripture for this and for this, I would have it in this Bible only. So my deep study will never be in this Bible. It will be in my home Bible. So I did get that figured out. <laughs> But I was really worried about it because I didn't want to just, you know, get this one Bible and have it only for on the go and then not really use it, if that makes sense, because that's what it kind of felt like I was doing. Like, okay, so I just made a big, big purchase, but I'm not really going to use this Bible, but I am. I am just at the right time. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to share because I know I am not the only one that struggles with that. This is my journaling page so I'm not gonna journal on the inside of my Bible but I did the cover now the cover is like a felt tip like a you know um, material so I just the and these are just stickers I didn't glue them down anything extra nothing these are all 3d stickers so let me pop you off the tripod sorry sorry okay and then move the tripod over so these 3D stickers, I don't know if you can see, you can find them at Michael's and at Packetans. These ones are from Packetans. So for those of you who are local in Ohio, and then look at this, look at these little, this is like a little table. I don't I hope this is coming out. I'm trying to, there it is. It's actually coming off of the page. The little cup, the little croissant with the butter and the newspaper and this little, um, yeah camera it's a little cord moves it is so cute so you're probably thinking why the travel like what, what's the deal with the travel well this is my traveling bible and this i am praying and i ask the lord every night to help lead me to the right people to me to you know to not really minister to but to share to share my love for bible to share my love for the word and I know he got big plans for this Bible. I really do. I'll never go to Paris, so that's why I got this little Paris set here. Because it's just so cute. I wish it was a kitty, but it's, it's a doggy. It's okay. And then I love my little kitty cat. He is so adorable. I love him. But yeah, so I just added in all the stickers, and they seem to be, you know, sticking really good. I thought for sure I had to add more glue and stuff, but no. I'm not having no problems and on the liner over here there is no indents no pokes no nothing the only thing I see is from the coffee cup because the coffee cup really comes up the trim so the trim is the only damage that I'm you know see happening but it's just something little so I'm not too worried about that here is my travel log so far so I my travel log is in my other turquoise Bible but I I'm gonna have it in here because duh this is on my on the you know on the to-go Bible so I have to add a travel log and then this will be my study key which I'm not really gonna have like a study key but once I have like highlights colors for different things I'll add them here and then I have my card the card that I use for underlining and stuff and again, really not going to be doing too much of that in here. This is strictly going to be like my reading Bible. And if the Lord lays something upon my heart to share with somebody else, I will have it already marked. I won't, it won't be distracted with everything else. So, okay, I'm coming up to 15 minutes. This is the back pocket. These are the amazing people that makes this stunning, stunning Bible. So, oh my goodness. So I had to come on and share what I'm doing with my to-go bag. I hope you enjoy. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box today. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.